Hi everybody and welcome back to Total OS Today. This is another video in a continuing series of videos on Linux for Dummies or more specifically Ubuntu Linux for Dummies focusing on the Unity based or Unity operating system based on Ubuntu. Now if you are a brand new Windows user wanting to try out Linux or Ubuntu Linux for the very first time then stick around. If you know what you are doing and choose to stick around, please do and offer any kinds of tips, shortcuts, or suggestions that, do, that you may have. But please bear in mind, this is designed for the Windows user who is considering dual booting their computer with Ubuntu. Now, I did something like this for Linux Mint sometime in the past. It was a three-part length, lengthy series of videos. It did turn out okay, but for this I wanted to try and figure out how I, could, how I could do it maybe maybe in one or two parts and make it as short and as simple as possible. So as a Windows user would go to the Ubuntu.com website, click Get Ubuntu. And I must tell you, to my surprise, as a Windows dual booter, this is one of the most simplest, easiest installation instructions I have seen in a long, long time. So let me just run through the process of what we see here and offer you, offer you some extra tips. You have several options here. One of the options to the right, which is a very popular option, is to run it with Windows. Now what this does, this installs a piece of software called Wubi. Now what this does, this safely downloads and installs Ubuntu inside your Windows 7 operating system, which makes it easier to delete later. This is nice, but it does have two small drawbacks. Number one, it's not quite as stable, and number two, not quite as fast. But it does make it somewhat easier, if not much easier, to delete it if you choose not to have Ubuntu whatsoever. But for this demonstration, I will click Download and Install. Now you have several steps here. Let me just say that they uh, Ubuntu recommends the 32-bit based operating system so do I. 64-bit uh, operating system systems for some reason aren't quite as stable as 32-bit so if you're not sure just stick with the recommendation of 32-bit. Now we will click here start download. Now what this does this will download the ISO file and save it onto your desktop. Now I'm assuming that you are running Windows 7. I highly recommend that you take a look at part two of the complete Linux Mint install guide tutorial that lists a piece of free software which is an MD5 file verifier. When you download this, after you download this, actually run that file verifier and make sure that the file itself, the ISO file itself, is not corrupted. If it is corrupted and you try to install it or install it anyway, you will run into problems down the line and what we call bugs or crashes. So if the file you downloaded is corrupted, delete it and try it again. Do not install an ISO file that is corrupted. Okay, scrolling down here. Number two, assuming that your file is not corrupted. I would like to create a CD. You click that and to create it I will be using Windows. Show me how. Very nice screenshots here. In the first screenshot there is a, a screenshot of a free program called Infra Recorder. I have used this and it works terrifically. Scrolling down some more if you have Windows 7 after you downloaded the image file and verified it you can just right click burn disk image and then burn it onto your disk and go from there. Now there are there are other there, there's another option here to try it. Don't use that. I mean it's it's safe but it's just it's it's just too slow in my opinion. Number four, install it. Now I will click show me how right now, but I will show you this and run through this with you, uh hand holding if you will in part two of this video on installing Ubuntu Linux for dummies. Now if, if you can't wait and want to do this now go right ahead but if you choose to do that let me just highlight this screenshot here. Okay you will come apart uh, come apart now you will come upon <laughs> hopefully your computer will not come will not come apart you will come uh, upon the install uh, uh, 
allocate drive space you will choose the option that says install Ubuntu 11.04 alongside another operating system or if it says Windows 7 choose that option and forget the rest of the options that you see click forward now you will have here with your pointer which I'm, I of course this is a screenshot but basically you will be able to slide this left and right on how much um, partition space to allocate between Ubuntu and, and Windows 7. If you're not sure, just make it half and half. Click Install Now and follow the instructions. Now, once again, I will show you this step by step. Let me just reset this here. I will show you this step by step in part two of this video. But as, as far as this goes, I think I will end this here. So the number one thing here really is after you download the file, verify first first that the file is not corrupted. If it is, don't continue. Delete it. Try it again. Once the file is verified that it is not corrupted, then you are ready to go to burn it. And then, of course, after you burn it, you will uh, start the installation process. And I will show you that in part two of this Ubuntu Linux for Dummies series of videos. I think uh, I think I'll leave it here for now. As always, thank you so thank you so much for joining me and as always, I will catch you sometime in the future.